As promised last week, Duca's Copy TV is back again to provide you with more quality technical analysis. Previously, Andre Knight showed you a rather handy trade worth more than 400 pips. And Andre, you have more for us today. Hi, Peter. As you recall, last week there was a key resistance level on the Euro USD that we were watching at 1.3081. Well, as the week progressed, that level broke and retested as support. So today I'd like to show you how the trade evolved to the long side. As you can see, while the euro was declining, at the same time the indicator underneath, which I use Osmo but you can use MACD, this is known as a divergence and it's usually your first signal that the current trend is coming to an end. At that point we expected a retrace back up to the central pivot point at 1.3081 to retest as resistance. But what happened is instead of bouncing us back down, we broke above it. And not only that, but we came back down, now from the top side, and retested it as support. That confirms we've got a change of direction on our hands. Okay, so we had one trade from the bottom up to the top to retest as resistance. That was worth 175 pips. Okay, but once we retested it as support, we know we're going higher. The question is, how much higher? Well, if we look at where the move began, we find that it began at a median point. You'll see M3 is up here and M4 is up here. If you traded it all the way up to there, that would be an additional 338 pips. So some more great analysis there from the founder of FXNight.com. Stay tuned because there is still much more to come here on Duke's Copy TV. Goodbye.